The eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Psalm 33, verses 18 and 19. The last video that I did was on Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And I also want to in just say something uh, at the tail end of that or just in, in summary of that. It is so important. Yes, we're praying, bless us, O Lord, but we have to get things right here. First, we have to cry out for his mercy because we have fallen away and we have as a nation rejected the Lord in his ways as a nation, as a group. I'm not saying all the Christians. I'm definitely, I'm not saying you and me, but I'm saying it's important, just like Jesus, just like John the Baptist, the first message they had is repent, repent or perish. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. So it is important that as we talk about blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and, and that ties into this next uh, part that, I'm, that we we're going to get into here. And that is we cry out for your mercy, O God. We cry out, you know, we repent for all of the sin and the things that we have done that has separated us as a nation from you. Lord God, have mercy on us. And so, again, we look at this. And so the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. The Lord does go, looks. He ranges, he roves around to look and see who is faithful, but also who fears him. Remember, we talked about fear before as being that reverent fear and on those who hope in his mercy. And again, we talk about his mercy. His mercy what? To deliver our souls from death and to keep us alive in famine. And this is a very real prayer here today, Lord, that you would have mercy on us because, you know, persecution, death, financial issues, lots of problems here, famine. I know that there are people right now, probably some of you that are listening and that are looking at this video and saying, you know, man, my finances are so bad and, and that I don't know where the next meal is going to come from. There are people all over the world, all over this country, all over the land and this psalm here is an encouragement. It's an encouragement that, again, that the Lord, behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. See, the Lord, again, is not one to turn his eye from us. He's not one to turn his compassion, to turn his love away from us. He is looking and he is magnet. He's like a magnet to those, to us who fear him and we hope in in his mercy and we do hope in his mercy that he would deliver us deliver our soul from death and it is my encouragement to you today and my belief that our God is able he's willing he's faithful to uh, take away these fears that we have to provide and so this psalm again this is an amazing psalm it's one that we should read every day Psalm 34 is like it too but Psalm 33 here is Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed, okay? Also, God is looking for those that fear him and fear him in that good way. But also, this encouragement today is for us to look and he, those that hope in his mercy. We have a merciful God. We have a God of grace and mercy. We have a God of love and power here. We have a God that wants us to love him and obey him. This obedience is very important here. It doesn't mean that we're free from we don't have to obey. We do have to obey. And so when we line up with his will and, and when you, even under persecution, under severe strain and stress in that valley of that shadow of death of where you might find yourself today, it is important that you cling to this verse. You cling the eye of the Lord. The eye of the Lord. So the eye of the Lord is looking. He's looking at you. He's looking at me. We fear him. We fear you, O Lord God. We fear you, but we love you. We fear you out of reverence. Again, it's that reverence. And so to deliver our soul from death, even if we should die, deliver us in death. 
either way, we come and we join you. But this is a psalm that talks about the deliverance from death and keeping us alive in famine. How many of you out there right now could just testify how the Lord has provided in famine? We all have been through some situations, some circumstances where it is by only by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you today as you read this psalm and you go through the different parts of it that you see that the Lord, his eye is on us. And so I just encourage you and praise God, uh, you know, for his his uh, his eye, for his his love and, and for his his watching and we just trust in the living God you and me we trust in the living God today that as he has his eye on us that we will not perish we will not die in famine he will provide for us and so whatever fears you have about money finances and things like that rest assured the Lord's eye is on you today God bless you